I'm Andrew. I'm Emily. I'm Levi. I'm Eve. I'm Cynthia. We are with the Sound Springs FFA Chapter. In the Fairbanks Soil and Water Conservation District Office. And today we're going to be showing you how to build a hydroponic grow tower out of plastic buckets. Step one, we will be preparing the buckets. For our first step, we will be pulling out the handles. And marking the buckets and lids with numbers one, two, and three. First, we will start by taking all three lids off of our two gallon buckets and then remove the third one due to the fact that we have no drill sites that need to be done. Next, you will take stencil A, fold along the dotted line here, and then puncture holes at the crosses A, B, and C. You will then commence to take the edited stencil, take any of the buckets one or two, take the top of the stencil and butt it up against the bottom of the lid of the bucket. You will then commence to take Sharpie and you will mark at the cross points A, B, and C. You will then line the stencil up right where you left off with point C, and then you will mark points B and C, and you will commence to do this the whole way around the bucket. There should be a total of 16 holes or mark points on both of the buckets, 8 for each bucket. So for the next step, we're going to be using power tools, which means that anybody who's following along with us needs to make sure that they have the proper personal protective equipment like safety glasses. We will be drilling on all of the black points we made in the last step. It is crucially important to ensure that you remove the uh, piece of plastic that's been jammed inside of the saw before commencing to drill a second one. Before we start into this next session, please don't forget to wear your personal protection for your eyes due to the fact that we will be working with power tools. And also remember that this won't be just buckets one and two anymore, we will also be bringing in bucket number three. So in this step, you are going to be cutting out stencil B, so it looks like this. You're going to place it on the bottom of the bucket, and you're going to stencil it out so it looks like this. Once you've completed that, you will take the Dremel and you will cut out the two half circles along the edges of the lines you've created, and also the circle you've drawn in the middle. If there happens to be a bump, please ensure it is a flat surface in the middle of that circle, and as you're using the Dremel, please take safety precautions to ensure that you, your safety is priority in this project. At the end, it should look like this much. In this next session, we need to remember to wear your safety glasses due to the fact that we will be working with our power tool once again. So for this step, you're going to take pencil C and cut it out so that it fits on top of your bucket lid. Then you'll take a pencil just like you did with pencil A and poke holes at all of the places that are marked. And like pencil A, you're going to take this middle part and you're going to line it up with the lid. And then you take a star piece and you fill in with its holes and that is where you are going to drill. Please keep in mind for this step, we will be removing lid number three due to the fact that there are no holes on the top of it. For the next step, we will be taking stencil B, making sure you poke out the holes in between the two half circles. We will be using this for lids one and two and the five gallon bucket lid. You'll place it making sure that the half circles are lined up with the previously drilled holes. Then we are going to take our two separate drills with the two separate bits and drill out all of the holes that we've stenciled out with stencil B. Then you will take a larger hole saw bit and put it on one of your drills and drill one hole on the side of the five gallon bucket lid for the cord for the water pump. But before we use any power tools, we have to make sure that we have the proper personal protection equipment, our safety glasses. set it into the jig and we're going to drill three holes so it looks something like this. In this next section, we are going to cut a four foot piece of half inch PVC pipe with either PVC cutters or scissors. 
Then you will find your water pump and look for the adapter that fits right inside of the PVC pipe that you have. And if your PVC is just a little bit too small and you need to expand it, you can dip it in hot water. So with your funnel, it, uh, this is the one I'm going to be using, however it is too big and too tall. So we're going to take heavy duty scissors, like kitchen scissors, and we're going to cut at least an inch off of the bottom. Then we're going to take PVC cutting scissors. I want to cut the top of the funnel and we're going to trim that down. So we have 16 PVC elbows. We have one water pump. We have a five gallon bucket and two, uh, two gallon buckets with holes cut out. And then our third two gallon bucket with no holes that goes on the top. We have our three two gallon bucket lids and our five gallon bucket lid as well as six hex bolts, six wing nuts, and six washers. We have our funnel and we have our PVC pipe with the adapter. build our beautiful hydroponic towers, it is time to plant our seeds and what we recommend, rock wool. It is not reusable though. We also suggest that you feed your plants with the hydroponic nutrient solution, but don't overfeed. So good luck with your towers. We hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. Have a good day. We knocked out our towers. Towels. <laughs> 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 Your beautiful towels are